what's a synonym? Man, my lisp is really getting at me today. I cannot speak words. Can I say success? I can. That was a word I always struggled with as a kid. Success is what I always said. And then all the boys were like, oh, she said sex. I'm like, no, sex, sex. All perks of having a lisp. Fun fact, I went to speech therapy as a kid, which is why I can now say success. But synonym, synonym, or, oh, I really struggle with this one. Pork, uh, no, pork. <laughs> I always want to say pork and cheese, but it's pork and cheese? That, that wasn't it. Pork, pork and cheese? Pork and cheese? <laughs> Am I getting anywhere close? Sis, sis, the 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 Thoris, the Thoris, the Thoris, the Thoris. to the June writing challenge, the 20th day in a row that I have written on my book. I have to write for at least 15 minutes today. I'm hoping I can go a lot further to make up for the past two days. Let's just say this week was rough. It is later than I was wanting, but I did get things done today. Okay, I wasn't just slacking off all day. I cleaned my apartment. When I grab my trash cord, you don't hear trash anymore. That's the sound that I need to take out my trash. So I got a lot done. Now I'm hoping to get a lot more done. If I don't finish chapter four today, I will be thoroughly disappointed because I've been working on chapter four for a week now. Today will be the day that chapter four is finished. And then we'll start chapter five with act two. That's the plan. It is currently 6.57. Oh crap, what's her name? This new person. I remember... Shoot, where's my plan? Is that on my hard drive? I wrote out a plan, right? An outline of the entire plot, and then I did mini lists of all the characters, first and last name. I can't remember the last name of this particular character, but I can't find my plan. Oh my goodness, did I not save it? I need it. I need to refer back to it. No, no, no. I know I turned it in, right? I wrote this for an assignment and I need to refer back to it because I want to look at this particular character's descriptions that I wrote down because I don't remember her. We turned it in through email for this class. So, see, it was always like the subject name was our first and last, the name of the class for 420. Plan. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> Thank goodness I went to school for writing and I had to create these things for our class that I didn't have to turn in so I could find it again because apparently it's not saved on my computer. It's like not anywhere. Amelia Ravenport. Okay. <sighs> but. Maybe you guys can help me out with this, right? Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Like, let's start a writing discussion. Protagonist's name is Annie, and this new character is Amelia. I've been told it was confusing having Amelia and Annie. Are those names, like, too close to each other? Maybe it's because they both start with the letter A. Ooh, should I rename her Emery? Emery Ravenport? Do you like the name Amelia Ravenport or Emery Ravenport? I'm gonna Google the name Emery just to see like what time that was like a popular name. Apparently it's the name of a band. Ooh, Amelia! <gasps> so instead of Amelia, Emilia. 
Ooh, okay, okay, I think that's not my problem. So it's the same name, it's just spelled with an E instead of an A. I fixed my character name issue. So let me know in the comments what you think about it, though. I'd love to hear it. Shoot, I'm blanking on my ballet terminology. What's the word when, like, you extend your arm in that breath? Elongate? Okay, yeah, yeah, elonge. I was blanking on that one ballet terminology, but I have it now. Shoot, but in what tense would I use it? I have to demonstrate this. T because I just, I move my computer and it just falls out. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Elonge the arm, curtsy, then elonge again. So in what tense would I write? Would it be the elonge or a elonge? Normally in ballet class, it's like arabesque, elonge the arm. Punche, right, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so very limited room, don't wanna hit this, and wow, that was loud. So, what it be? During the, the Alonji. I'm gonna write it that way. Oh, learn something new every day. Apparently collarbones is one word. Does that make rib bones one word? This is what I have an issue with the English language, is the inconsistency. I already went over the bearable versus bearable and how it should be spelled bearable, but spelled bearable, like that does not make sense. But if rib bones is two separate words, but collarbones is one word, that does not make sense to me. I. <laughs> I don't understand English. Who is screaming? It's like a little kid being, ah! Chapter four is done. Ah! After how many days of writing? I finished it. I want to just see how many words alone is chapter four because it took me a really long time to write this flipping chapter and it is. 5,806 words. Oh wow. Oh, look at that. By the way, since it's a Saturday, it's the end of the week. I wrote 5,806 chapters this week. At least I'm being consistent with that. I'm consistently writing 5,000 words each week. Not a lot of time passed in this chapter, but man, it's a flipping long chapter. And actually thinking about it, 60 pages to document two days of my plot. Oh my gosh! In total, I'm at 16,671. Pretty confident tomorrow I will get to 17,000 words. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, it's 8.09. I don't know what time I started at. I want to say like 6.45 or something. So like an hour and 15 minutes I've been writing for. So words for today. I wrote 627. And the chapter is now finished. Good way to finish off week three of this June writing challenge. Yeah, 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 my video and ring that bell the gleaming to get notified every single time I post you always want to watch these videos because I'm such a fun person right <laughs>